Hey everybody, this is Dread Pirate Duo here, and I want to take a moment to kind of give you guys an update on why I haven't posted video for so long. Um, let's face it, you know, I'm not a big YouTuber, I do this for fun. I'm definitely not going to make a career out of this. Um, but there was a long time, I guess you can say, before uh, between my last post and my and what's coming up here shortly. And there's been a lot of things going on in my personal life. So one of the biggest things we had is my wife interviewed at a very, very good company, got a very, very good job, and we had to move out of state. Unfortunately, they gave us 30 days to pick up a family of four and move to another state, which, you know, it's an adjacent state. It's not that far away, but that's still a big move. So we both were working. I was actually working, I had a really good job at Wells Fargo at the time, and I was, I was enjoying what I was doing. Um, but this was a very, very good opportunity for her. And I said, you know what? I work in IT. I can find a job anywhere. So let's, let's do it. Um, we got an apartment. We got her moved up here. And then I pretty much had to quit my job so I could manage the move because there's no way she was able to work at, 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 you know, as a professional in the new position and manage a move. So I quit my job. I got everything moved up, I got all my plans laid out, and a lot of stuff went according to plan, but we had some pretty big bumps. Um, on my way up to to Colorado, um, I rented a vehicle and realized I couldn't fit the stuff that I needed to fit in that vehicle. I already paid for it. It was not, it, we didn't have a whole lot of extra money at this point, we're kind of running low. And um, we, I was like, oh man, it just was bad. So I actually rented from Avis. I gave him a call. I said, hey, you know, I've rented this, uh, I rented a, a, an SUV, but um, I can't fit the stuff I need in it for this one-way move. And the guy's like, well, that's all we have, and we'll, we'll you know, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And I said, you know, appreciate whatever you can do to help me out. So when I go pick up the car, I get a, a Ford Explorer, or sorry, um, not Explorer, I get a Ford Expedition, which is significantly larger than I than I paid for and purchased. Um, but I've rented from this guy a couple times, and he was really helping me out. So he, uh, brand new vehicle, was really, really nice. I was able to fit everything into it, pop um, my kid into it, and, and, and drive up here. Uh, I had to wait for her to get out of school and everything, so there's a couple days where we had to stay at the hotel uh, because we had nothing in the house. It was empty. Anyways, fast forward to getting here, getting everything unpacked. I mean, it's been about two months where I've been out of work. I was able to collect unemployment because of the situation. Um, I did qualify for it, so I was able to get a little bit of money in, but it's not really a lot. Went ahead and went through all that. I had been tr trying to find jobs. I interviewed with Lockheed Martin and a bunch of other really, really nice companies, and I would get all the way to the point where they were going to give me an offer and they liked me and then something strange would happen. With Lockheed Martin, the project got put on hold because they had a mass exodus of contractors. Um, wasn't a bad thing, it's just that everyone happened to make a move at the same time and they, they, were, they didn't know what to do, so they, had to, they closed that position out. And then um, other positions where I'd get pretty far in the process and then some weird question would come up and it was a, it was a it was a, you know, it was something that had to be answered per exactly perfectly, and um, I didn't answer the way they wanted to, so they moved on to other candidates. Uh, it's very competitive out here. There's a lot of DOD contracts, but I don't have secret clearance anymore. I did years ago, but it lapses if you don't use it. So I, I was at a disadvantage. Um, so unfortunately, during that time, I couldn't really focus on doing anything with YouTube. As a matter of fact, I didn't do anything, a lot of stuff with the Game Edge community at all. Uh, barely kept, was able to keep the servers running just in the time that I had, because I was focused so much on trying to find a job. Um, eventually, I had two opportunities. I had a really great opportunity with, with AWS and a, and a good opportunity with um, another local company here. And what I ended up doing is, I. AWS, I nailed it. I went to the interview. I, I they, they flew me out there. I, you know, was able to to, to go to Austin and everything, and and, and just on their dime, um, and they loved me. But there was a there was a couple spots in that technical interview where they just were like, I had two or three key skills that I was missing, uh, and they just didn't feel that I that, that it, this was the time to hire me. So it was a huge letdown. Um, so I went to this other interview, and I really wasn't feeling too up. You know, I was pretty pretty uh, down on, on everything. Um, ended up nailing the interview, getting that job, and I started that job beginning of July. 
Well, um, we're still unpacking stuff <laughs> through this entire time, and we're finding a, a lot of stuff is broken. I mean, our, our couches were broken, our beds were broken. Like, there's so many broken things. Um, and they would try, and, and what really pissed me off is they tried to hide it. Well, that didn't work out so well for me, so we're still sorting through that. We can only put one claim in. Like, they won't let us claim things as we're going through. They want us to put one in, one claim in. So we have this laundry list of stuff. And they're going to try to nickel and dime us and not give us any money for it. But uh, So I have a fight on my hands, and so I've been working on that. And I got to a point where I was just so overwhelmed with all of the adulting that I had to do. And I've got two kids, you know, uh, trying to keep them happy. It's, it's It can be difficult. But, uh, especially when you, you're unpacking stuff, right? <laughs> but I got so frustrated with it that I finally said, you know what, I need to take some time for myself. And so I started playing uh, subsistence with the team again. I started getting more into the community stuff. I started kind of making a little bit of time to do that. And it, it has helped out quite a bit. So I'm trying to get back into editing videos. Um, I've been away from it for a little while. I had to get my, my network and my storage server and my editing rig and everything set up, which wasn't a priority. Um, but I, I made it happen. Um, and I'm pretty glad, to, you know, I'm, I'm happy with, with where we are right now. So you're going to see some videos come up. They may not be as timely as everybody else. They may not be on a schedule. But um, I'm going to try to get some more stuff out there just because it's a good release for me. It's like, you know, it, the, there's, what, what was it? There's a... Um, I can't remember the name of the movie, but there's a gangster and he gardens, and that's what how he you know kind of releases everything. I think it's called Analyze This. And anyways, uh, this is my gardening, right? This is how I can I can sit down and relax and get back to everything. So I just want to kind of let you guys know what's going on. I know I droned on for quite a while. I mean, I'm trying to keep this well under 10 minutes if I can. But uh, appreciate if you guys keep looking. Uh, watch what we're watching videos and, and pay attention to the stuff that uh, Game Edge of the community is doing. It's, uh, there's, there's some really good things out there. Ono's been doing some awesome videos. Um, Bish has been working really hard on some videos too, and he's has some, some really great ones. So um, I know Alice, uh, Alice is coming back from um, just family stuff. She had just other obligations, and so she's trying to get back into it too, as well. So please, you know, check her out and, and, and you know, like and comment on her videos too. She's a, she's a very, very nice person. Um, other than that, I mean, I have, uh, oh, I've had to change some things on the videos. I've had to kind of change up the intro and drop the outro because I was uh, dropped by Curse. Uh, Kurt sent a very cryptic email with no details saying, as of July 20th, you're no longer going to be a part of our, um, of our community. And I've reached out and asked for specifics, and I've gotten no specifics. All, there's, all they're saying is, you have no copyright strikes, your content's fine, um, we don't know why you're being dropped, you're just being dropped. Um, and it's very... They, they try to be as professional as possible, but they're very unprofessional in the way that they handled this. Um, my personal thought is that they had a limit to the number of people that could subscribe to their channel, or to their MCN, their multi-channel network, and so what they did is they looked at the smaller guys and they just axed all of us and said, nope, you know what, even though you completely qualified with everything and you've done everything right being, you know, a part of our network, you're gone because, well, we need to make room for other people that are bigger and that uh, can, you know, make us some more money. And it's a shame because that's not how Curse started. Uh, Curse was supposed to be the MCN, like the anti-MCN, right? You went to them, they they gave you, you know, 90% of the stuff you make. They took 10% off the top for curating ads and, and giving you some, some, some other benefits. Um, but because of that, I don't have access to Epidemic Music or Audio Jungle or anything like that anymore. So using that music that I already have would be um, against the terms and I'd have copyright strikes. And it's just, you know, not the, not the right way to do it. So unfortunately, with, uh, with that being said, um, I don't know what's going on with Curse, but they've definitely become what they were set out to fight. They became... Uh, if you want to say that they were against the man, they have become the man. <laughs> not not the kind of uh, terminology I typically use, but it's just one of those things that uh, it gets frustrating. Um, and a lot of people have, have had that same exact problem. And the funny part is, even some really like noticeable people have had that problem that with with curse. So, anyways, could be much more than that. Um, I haven't looked too much into it after the twentieth, just because it's it's very frustrating. But luckily, YouTube was nice enough to not um, make me jump through hoops to get back onto normal AdSense and everything. So, um, you know, 
eventually I may make enough money f to cash out AdSense. I mean, that might be like in 10 years or 20 years, but um, yeah, whatever. It's, I'm doing this for fun, and, and anything that comes from it is, is just, you know, a benefit. Anyways, I am over the 10 minute mark, which I was trying to stay under because I tend, tend to ramble, but I wanted to go ahead and, again, let you guys know what's going on, and uh, hopefully you'll see some stuff and maybe enjoy it. Um, I got a pretty funny subsistence video coming up. Um, it's going to explain some things. Game Edge might not be so happy with me. You'll see. Anyways, uh, you guys have a wonderful day, night, wherever you are, and I will hopefully talk to you later.